we do know from research that about 80% of jobs in the next decade are going to be STEM based. So it's really vital that children understand STEM concepts early on in a way that they can engage with it as a subject when they grow up. How do we actually create these STEM environments for children to engage with and that's where the idea started. So that's kind of the area where we narrowed down between Pratham Books and Cisco as an area which is probably underrepresented in the publishing world, STEM books for young readers. And it didn't just stop with the creation of books, it was also about distributing the books to where children needed them the most. And having that physical copy of a book for a young reader is so crucial in those formative years when they're learning concepts, when they're putting words together, reading paragraphs. Science and math are fairly feared subjects in schools and kids don't naturally align to those subjects. So with this in mind, we felt there is a need for an intervention or for a support that can build curiosity and that confidence in kids that they can start looking into these subjects than just saying that I can't even give it a try. When I figure out that a certain topic needs a bit more elaboration. Very difficult. Yeah. You are not studying. Yeah. Then I bring in a story for them. So these books have been particularly very useful in that case. How an ideal session would look like? The teacher picks up a story, a, a book essentially, and narrates it, making thinking visible. Illustrations really bring alive the concept. With STEM books, it's even more important because often you're explaining a concept visually rather than through words. And then there is a group reading time when kids read in groups. Just takes one child to go and pick up a book and then the, all the other children are going and sitting with one one book. And finally, the session ends with any kind of activity where the children articulate or present what they read. Having access to books that explain very simple things that you see around you and get you to be a little more curious to find out why, the what and all of that is I think very essential. So when you mix atta and water, it is letting the cake stretch also and it is also holding the cake together. <laughs> So rather than approach the topic from a textbook prism, you approach it from a concept prism. And the kids learned a lot of things, but they didn't realize they learned a lot of things as well. They change it to new things that is called, the process is called chemistry. Whatever resources, whatever programs we might bring into schools, the one person who can translate those programs into something that children can make sense out of is the one who delivers it, which is the teacher. I can learn about space, I can learn about places, I can learn about animals, I can learn about our body parts, how our body part is working. How to make things that I like most. From curriculum support to pleasure reading to science activities and science-based learning and the whole spectrum. I think that's really what we look for is uh, spark curiosity so kids learn more about science, kids engage more with the technologies that they see every day. Ask simple questions, simple questions, that every, there is science behind everything right? and that really helps build the technology skill set that India needs in order to continue to be a fastest growing country.